Hello, how's everybody doing? This is Cat Fane Comics Man, and I'm here with my comic book haul for this week. Mainly my new comic book day haul from Wednesday that I ended up receiving on Friday, which is why I got behind, and I've been kind of under the weather this weekend, so I'm just getting around to actually posting this video and in fact, I probably just made this video right before I posted it. So just a heads up. But anyway, these are the comics I picked up from the 6th. Well, they're from New Comic Book Day the 6th. And um, it's two weeks worth. So it's a huge, huge stack. Just fair warning. I've got a lot. So we'll go ahead and get started here. First up is a square bound book that I picked up, which is The Batman First Night, book one. It's a three part series. And uh, I can't wait to get into this. It's actually, I love the covers on this too. Um, I've already ordered the second one um, from the FOC this last week. So. Looks really interesting. Can't wait to check it out. Then up next, The Spectacular Spider-Men, number one. This looks really good. Cheap plastic covers there. Um, this is the A cover. And then, of course, if it's available, I'm going to pick up the foil variant this is the Marquez foil variant. And I thought it was a cool looking cover. If any of these don't show up, I'll have a, um, I'll also be showing a picture of it over on this side. Just in case you never know. Then up next we have Grimm. I love this series. This is the pen and ink. Number one, it's the A cover. I love this Grimm series. It's really good. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man issue number 44. This is the A cover. Here is Cable number two and this is the marvel masterpieces three variant uh cover it's from the um marvel masterpieces three was a uh collector's card set trading card set so it's like a trading card variant but they're called marvel masterpieces three but it's a great cover then we have Carnage, number four. I don't know what it is about this cover, but it's really wicked looking. Up next, we have Dead X-Men, number two. This is the A cover. The rest of these would be A unless I mention it. We have Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 17. Here is Punisher. Issue number four, who is Jigsaw? Resurrection of Magneto number two. Here is Wolverine. Number 44. Uh, 
Avengers number 11. Doctor Strange, number 13. Now, here we have a variant. Here is Giant Size Spider Gwen, the Deadly Foes variant. They've been releasing these for all the spider characters, their deadliest foes. Then we have Ms. Marvel, Mutant Menace, back to the A covers. Here is Sentry, number four. Ultimate X-Men, number one. People have been saying it's pretty good, so can't wait to check it out. Then we have Venom, number 31. Symbiosis Necrosis, part one. Looks like that'll be good. And then here is the Marvel Masterpieces 3 variant. Another one of those trading card style variants. Thought it was really good. Then up next, we have Weapon X-Men. <laughs> wow. This is the A cover. And then here is the John Boy Myers variant. Which I really enjoyed. I had to pick it up. Here we have X Men. Number 32. And then here's X-Men number 32. The trading card variant. The allies of the X-Men. Here... This almost made my cover of the week. Spider Punk Arms Race, issue number one. This is the foil variant. Let's see if you can see that. This is a cool cover. I'll have a I'll have it over here on the side so you can see it too what it looks like. I think the only reason it didn't get my cover of the week is because it doesn't show up really good on camera. Then we have the facsimile of Uncanny X-Men issue number 268. which is the first meeting of Captain America and Wolverine in Madripoor. And then, of course, I picked up the foil version, the foil variant. We're almost through. 
Up next, we have What If Venom, issue number one. I really enjoyed this cover, too. Okay. Then final book is my cover of the week, which is also a foil cover. It's the What If Venom number one, and it's the foil variant right here. This pops. This is a beautiful foil variant. Except with the light hitting it everywhere. I think it looks better right there. But those were my pickups for this week. Um, I also had some toy pickups, but I don't have them nearby, so I really can't show them. Uh, some more He-Man stuff. I guess I'll make a separate video for that. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed my pickups. Please leave in the comments section below which ones you're reading or which ones I'm missing out on or what you think of my pickups and how many I'm picking up. <laughs> there was 29 books in this order. It was a shock to me too. Please hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and all that jazz. <laughs> Other than that, this is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out.